Hello! Oh my Hi. god, this echo is so bad. Wow. Uh, right now we're seeing, in a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Yes. So? <laughs> <laughs> so why are we watching this, Mike? Uh, so we were watching this because uh, I, w I begged you to do this. Uh, because <laughs> I loved this movie growing up when I was a little kid. And I remember watching this a lot on, uh, I think, Fox Family. Had, rent aired it a few times. But at the same time, incidentally, Ian Holm died today. <laughs> so I guess we're watching this in his memory. <laughs> yes. Rest in peace, Bilbo. So th that was not intended, but, uh, you know, yes, we, life happens. We planned this uh, at least a week ago. Yes. Yeah. My goodness. But yeah, I was... I haven't seen this since I was uh, 13 or 14, something like that. Mm -hmm. and I remember back then I was just like, I had just seen The Fellowship of the Ring, and I was like, what is this crap? Uh, but now that I know more about animation, I'm just like, okay, this looks actually pretty good. It looks like illustrations from a child's uh, novel. Yeah, and, and once again, credit to Rankin Bass. Uh, their studios made this film way back when I guess in the height of the D&D craze way back when and um, this was kind of their I think they made this before the last unicorn so you can kind of see a lot of the similar styles and kind of kind of character characteristics and this is a very sped up version of the beginning of the book <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I think this whole thing is only like an hour and 17 minutes with credits. Right. Ew. So yeah, so no individual knocking, everyone's just shoving up. <laughs> I really enjoy that they, uh, they have the songs, the dwarves are distinct, but they still look like dwarves. Mm -hmm. Well, they kind of look like goblins. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, he's a lot fatter than the, the bomber from the game we just played. Yeah, but not quite like the Hobbit films, but... <laughs> That's true. I'm surprised he was able to fit through that Hobbit hole. No, I just I just think that, that the music in this is so superior to, like, whatever Peter Jackson could do. <laughs> <laughs> Every single song, anything that came from the books, like, they, these guys just did it better. Uh, I don't know, the any time the dwarves sang in that first movie, I was like, alright, I'm digging this. But as soon as the Troll King sang, I was like, oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. No, the Troll song is better in this one. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? We forgot to introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Franco. I am Mike, also known as Kirk. <gasps> I thought you guys were separate people. <laughs> I mean... We're separate people living in the same body, I guess. Oh, <laughs> split personality. <laughs> we don't have to answer anything. <laughs> and I'm Jeez. And I'm Dana. Uh -huh. you, Mike slash Kirk, you give a new meaning to a uh, non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you can be respectful to my... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just fine. Just fine. So I thought I hadn't seen this before, but it looks very familiar, but I think I confused it with the Ralph Bashi version. Mm -hmm. So that's, I recognize Bilbo, like his design, and Dana has never seen it. Yeah, I've never seen this movie, so I'm kind of... Oh man, you're watching it while we're talking to it. <laughs> <laughs> Like that map of Hobbiton in the back. I was very surprised how good this looks in HD also. Like this is one clean transfer. And I'll say that this is actually my first time seeing it in HD. Because I think I just have a standard de definition ver uh, version on uh, Amazon Prime. Well, if you, ever, if you ever search for a Blu-ray 
of the Ralph Bakshi one. Just do yourself a favor and gouge your eyes out. <laughs> it's got good ratings on Amazon Prime. Yeah, it is the worst looking thing I've ever seen. And I do have to see myself naked sometimes, so... That's oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do appreciate that they, they animated all of this, like, this, the, kind of like the dwarven culture and kind of like their industry. Yeah, the... That's one thing that I'll say that I really like about the Peter Jackson one, is that they, they have very distinct architecture. Mm -hmm. Uh... And the aesthetics are there, but they were kind of building off of the Lord of the Rings for that. Right. With this, they're they're kind of going by just the few illustrations from the illustrated Hobbit books, right? Mm hmm Yeah, so good for rank and bass. Especially since they're coming off of Thundercats of all things. <laughs> <laughs> like, I used to love Thundercats, but that was an ugly-ass show. Yeah. Well, that's kind of, I feel like that's what kind of pulled them away from from doing a lot of the holiday specials and a lot of, a lot of those uh, kind of shorts. Yeah. This would have been really cool in stop motion. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> you just have a Rudolph cameo somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the ring, Dobo. <laughs> I'll solve your Lord of the Rings problem. <laughs> Mm. Oh, wow. I actually like this more than the Peter Jackson one. That, that was Dale, right? The, yes. Yeah, Dale. Yeah. Yeah, Dale was the human settlement that uh, got burned before they went to Lake Town. Mm -hmm. Or before they built Lake Town, maybe? I don't I'm know. Not, I'm not sure if Lake Town was around uh, yeah. by then. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like how. Well, <laughs> this <is> kind of fades. <laughs> I like how fast they're just blowing through this. This is why I think if they had just uh, split the live-action ones into two movies rather than three, it would have been a really good pace. Mm -hmm. But, like, this is too fast, but that one is way too slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I could kind of see, like, their Santa Claus work coming out in Gandalf. Mm-hmm. He was kind of like cradling Bilbo like a kid. Like, what would you like for? Uh, what would the Christmas equivalent would be in Middle Earth? Life Day? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> they don't really go explore the holidays too much. Yeah, they don't. I mean, I don't even think they go into like religion at all in those Just books. Just That's it. Yeah. Is the music done by John Denver? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it could have been. <laughs> it, should, it sounds like him. <laughs> I think his name is something Yarborough. Something Yarborough, but definitely a, a John Denver-like. It's very John Denver-esque because it's like, oh, nature and trees and meadows. Horse and bean. Yeah. It's, that would be awesome if he was related to Sean Bean, and then Sean Bean oh was in the Lord God. of the Rings like years and years later. There's a tie-in. John Huston, though, he's, uh, I think, Angelica Huston's dad? What the hell? Yeah. Dang, Bilbo has some gr lofty dreams. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, these dwarves I just met will worship me one day. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a bite, like, oh, God. And I looked over and you're like, I'm not about to show up popcorn. Yes, they shall worship the ground they walk upon. Shower it with petals. 
so, Glenn Yarbrough. Yeah. So, Mike, what do you think? This hair or the hair from the game? <laughs> oh, my God. That game hair was weird. <laughs> I'm okay with this one. It was just a net, just very shiny. <laughs> very shiny. Like, it, it just looks like a like a character, like a little character like figure you put on your freaking grid paper or something. Maybe hobbits are just greasy by nature. That's why they were so... <laughs> everybody was so shiny. Wow. Oh, hey, Bomber can talk. Mm -mm. Already a major improvement. Uh, Dana, have you seen the uh, the live action Hobbit movies? I haven't. I I was really into Lord of the Rings when uh -huh. they all came out, but I I don't know why I just didn't pursue watching the Hobbit. That's probably for the best. <laughs> uh, and that's coming that from somebody interest? that's seen know. it multiple times, yeah. even though I hate it so much. <laughs> Those little goblins are so weird. <laughs> <You're> Stewie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, those kind of look like some of my relatives. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I used to have a giant Italian family. Now we don't really see each other that often, but for every funeral, we would always go to a place in Fresno that was like a banquet hall, and everyone would cram in. I swear, the one uh, furthest away looks exactly like a like, great uncle or something. <laughs> <laughs> Way to rat out your friends, shit. I know, right? <laughs> like they're foraging for dwarves. <laughs> and they're getting them. That would be a good band name. Foraging for dwarves. <laughs> So the Rankin Bass, they're the people that did like Rudolph and yep. you know, like the old stuff like that. Mm, okay. Frosty. And then they did this. Yeah, Mike was telling me earlier that they, they did Thundercats and I was like, my mind just boom. <laughs> Pretty sure they did the OG 80s one? Yeah. Wow. But here's the other thing too, is that nobody talks about Mad Monster Party, their fucking gem that no one... Okay, never mind. I have no idea what you're talking about. Because they never air it. They never re-air it. I oh. actually have it saved on my DVR, so yeah. I need to check that oh. out. <laughs> Jeez. It's just that that's picking up your voice. You don't have to hold that. <laughs> Popcorn? Oh, uh, no thanks. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. I can't believe they're already past that point. This was like three hours into the first Hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I will admit, I do actually pretty much enjoy the first Peter Jackson Hobbit movie. It's just that third one is basically unwatchable, and that second one only has like a few sequences. Mm. 
I I really like that they don't force the dwarves to be racist in this also. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't know if any of you recall this, but in the Peter Jackson one, uh, Thorin, uh, Gandalf is like, oh, that is an elven craft. And Thorin's like, fuck the elves! And like <laughs> wants to put it back, and Gandalf has to basically be like, oh, that's a very good blade. You need to stop being such a bigot. We'll take them to Elrond. <laughs> and you know what? I don't. I don't think he ever actually got over his bigotry. That would have at least been a character arc. You mean for who? For Thorin. For Thorin, yeah. No, no, he's he's racist to the end. <laughs> <laughs> he started racist and he died racist. <laughs> My dear God. Cancel Thorin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I wish they would have been a little bit easier on that. In the Jackson films, but no. Yeah. Well, it seems like they kind of just shoved a bunch of those things in just because they were like, we have to pad this out. It has to be a trilogy. That's actually one of my favorite sections in the Hobbit book, uh, when they go to the uh, door. Uh, it should be coming up soon. Um, but yeah, I just I like the whole runes and everything. It's a good sequence. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. I've read The Hobbit probably like ten times, and I, I can't remember anything about it, <laughs> other than like the basic structure. Like, well, there's a guy named Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he lived in a hobbit hole, which is not a dirty, a dirty wet hole. Is that what it said? Yeah. It was something uh, somewhat erotic. <laughs> it's like, hey, Bilbo, let me in your dirty wet hole. <laughs> okay, I don't know like, about you, but I don't have a dirty wet hole. I have a hobbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it clean, thank you very much. <laughs> there we go. Just the lyrics of this song. <laughs> Ah, this sounds like elvish music to me. <laughs> this sounds like the Lenny Wink song. It's coming up. The Lenny Wink song? Yeah. I didn't know that was an actual parody of something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lenny Winks. Damn, that's quite a crown. Is this, um... It's Elrond. Yes, but it's, uh, what's the actor's name? Um... The actor in this, or in the in live the, the Ring, so I'm like, Red Skull. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's Hugo <laughs> Weaving. <laughs> Hugo Weaving. Let's see. Peter Jackson Thorne would never have said that. <laughs> I know, you would have probably spit at Elrond while getting the sword. <laughs> Ouch, that was my ankle popping. <laughs> More letters. It really strikes me, you know, after watching, like, modern kids' programs, just how not flashy this is. Like, if this was made now, there would be, like, shit just popping up on screen, like, silly face, or woo, bright colors! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and suddenly, Elrond pulled out a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely would have poochied up uh, Elrond. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's like, fuck! It's dwarves! Fuck. <laughs> oh, maybe I am a wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, Bilbo. <laughs> They take him to Isengard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the song. Yeah, he's actually been Bilbo the Stoned this whole time. <laughs> this is the Lemming Winks uh, song from the, the I think second appearance. Oh, yeah. Much better than the Peter Jackson version. <laughs> oh, this is Tony the Tiger, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. What else does it sound to you guys like? The Lemmy Wink song? It's so the original Tony the Tiger did, does the song of, uh, the Haunted Mansion. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I haven't been in the Haunted Mansion since I was, uh, I think, it's, 17. It must so. have been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so I honestly don't remember the song. Wow, I'm old. Shoot, I'm probably going to reside in the Haunted Mansion soon. <laughs> You're going to be the, uh... Fortune teller in the crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this the design of the Goblin King in this is way more intimidating than the Peter Jackson one. <laughs> Oh man, I want that sword so bad. Like the actual full-size replica. Oh. Yeah, Glamdring and the uh, the Witch King sword. Those are my favorite ones. I think I would prefer the Witch King one over Glamdring though. Especially since I gave Chi my little one. So, what was I going to say? Something about... Um it totally slipped my mind. Oh well. Huh? Yeah, I had I had a point I was gonna make. I was like, oh shoot, it slipped my mind. Oh, <laughs> it'll come back. It's okay. That happens oh. when you have an epic ap uh, action scene. Something very interesting though is the way that the the character model of Gollum in this one. Oh God! Did I, you notice the I, character model of the of the Gollum on the video game? Uh, it was pretty similar. I didn't I didn't even notice that it showed up in the video game. Yeah, like I think it was in the beginning. I'm not sure if it was a cutscene or something, but it I, looks I, similar. Uh, I tried real hard to not look at too much of this before we watched it, but I accidentally walked over during this. I was like, that's Gollum? What the hell? Yeah. I mean, he, he just looks like a fish like man a, or something. Yeah, like an frog. Well, he kind of had that too in the... Uh, in the backstory when they did Return of the King, remember? A fish man? Well, his eyes were kind of like that, where they were just kind of grayed, very, like, baggy and stuff like that. Oh, well, yeah. But this, like, he doesn't look like he could have been a hobbit at one point. Oh, no. Like, just... he looks like a weird amalgamation of a teddy bear and a fish <laughs> and a weird lizard or something. Teddy, weird lizard, fish man. <laughs> I'll call him Gollum. Gollum. Uh-oh. Oh, that's kind of weird that they put uh, etching. an etching, yeah. I just saw that too. I was like, what? Like, it's just supposed to be a plain ring, right? Uh, uh yeah, because it said it was a, just a very unassuming gold band.
that ring just destroyed my my total view of this film. I hate it now. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Of all of the butchered scenes from the Hobbit movies, uh, I think the Riddles in the Dark was probably the best one that they adapted. Uh, but I think that was just the strength of Andy Serkis, to be honest. Mm. Well, and Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman is a great actor. So them just kind of going back and forth was very nice. <laughs> <sighs> Is it strange that I could understand Andy Serkis more than I can understand this actor? Mm -hmm. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you putting your blade away, Bilbo? <laughs> Other than them not having to animate the shadows and stuff, of course. And why was it shining? Yeah, yeah he's, not, just, he's not a goblin. There's no goblins or orcs nearby. Yeah. Huh. They really did a good job with the uh, music in this. Just the backgrounds, man, which is... Yeah, these background cells are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Kind of like water paints, or like... Mm -hmm. That's what it makes me think of, like yeah. water paints. And they're doing kind of like that layered shot as well, which is nice. Yeah. Actually, that would have been really cool if they did watercolor, mm -hmm. uh, geez, what am I trying to say? Watercolor layers. Backgrounds. And then they put it through the, what, what was that thing called that Disney used where they could, like, pan around and move the cells? Rotoscope? Uh, no. no. It wasn't rotoscoping. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Where, yeah. Where it looks like a parallax effect? Yes. Or, like, if you're zooming in, right, and yeah. it just pulls away. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. They actually did employ some of that. A little bit. Yeah, because these are clearly just, like, the characters Flat. are just sh uh, cells that have been painted. But, yes, uh, Dana was right. It's it's very watercolor-esque in the background. <laughs> no. Every time I hear him talk, I just want to be like, precious! No. <laughs> yeah. It's like when I accidentally get a, a kill in a game. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I meant to do that. Uh, I don't secretly suck. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a very compact golem, I was <laughs> Me, when I was a boozer the next day. Nice. <laughs> I've always been uh, like I've always tripped out at how he runs. A golem? Yes. You'll see how he runs right now. It's interesting. All right. Because right now he's he just kind of has that facial expression where he's he's just completely over this shit. <laughs> Take fine. Oh, here we go. Okay, he runs. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a uh, like a grappling hook? I was gonna say it looked kind of like you know those a uh, three pronged shuriken that go in a circle. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, all things considered, Gollum made himself a nice little hole. But. It's the opposite of a hobbit hole. Well, that's true. This this <laughs> does look wet and dirty. <laughs> it's surprising that they didn't try to come up with a model that was similar to a hobbit. I mean, given that at this point the books were already out for like 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a very odd design. Although they, they probably figured that they would never animate the Lord of the Rings. Because the hobbit, you know, that's that's a small contained story. Right. Where the Lord of the Rings it's not really a kid's book. It goes in like seven different directions. Uh, until those, like, those those movies were kind of a miracle. That they were watchable at all, you know? Although they did do a Return of the King, the studio. Oh, yes. Well, that was Ralph Bakshi. No, no, no. That, they, they, uh, they actually had their own... Oh, yeah, okay. So yeah, separate from Ralph Bakshi. Ralph Bakshi did the uh, Fellowship and Two Towers that were combined into just the Lord of the Rings, right? Right. And then they got to do the Return of the King. Yes. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, Gollum's not that stupid, you know? He's definitely got some something up there. <laughs> nah. I like how he takes his ring off just to taunt him and then puts it right back on. Hey, yo, buddy, you're looking the wrong way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a dick move, Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got those crack eyes. <laughs> Gandalf's response. <laughs> Do you know who this voice actor is? The voice actor of, of Gandalf? Yeah. No, not of him. Oh. I just love how he gives him that wink, like, I know you got the ring, dude. Come on. He's like, it's not evil. Look. <laughs> it's totally not evil. That, that totally rings a bell, right, Bobo? <laughs> the ring? The one ring? <laughs> I'm talking about what's in your pocket right now! <laughs> and the dwarves are just like, what do you think they're talking about? <laughs> 
I don't know what's going on between the two of them, but it sounds very personal. It's like they're speaking their own language or something. <laughs> Is that Elvish? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't. They. I don't think they were trying very hard with these lyrics. <laughs> wow. Dang, the uh, wolves aren't going to speak in this either, huh? Yeah, no. Dang. They are voiceless wargs. I was going to say, that's a huge plus over the Peter Jackson ones, of course. It was kind of funny watching an interview where Peter Jackson was like, uh... Uh, I kind of, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I kind of painted myself into a corner with Lord of the Rings because I had the wards in there and they didn't speak. So if all of a sudden they could speak in The Hobbit, uh, it would make no sense. So that's why they were silent. You know who does speak though? The uh, the eagles. Oh yeah, they do speak. Yeah. Even the freaking the, the the birds speak in this. Yeah, no, everything spoke in The Hobbit. And the eagles talk mad shit. No. <laughs> they were like, now don't call us again unless you're on a fiery volcano and it's the end of the world, okay? You're the worst allies ever. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. They're too busy on their uh, Here giant, is. giant spires where they have orgies. Walls. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, can you please take us over Mirkwood? Well, have fun, hobbits. Yeah, we don't go over Mirkwood. Mer Mer <laughs> this is it. Let's go. Get. He's gonna we, be like, and now my debt is paid so long <laughs> that we won't be back for the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost like Aragorn when they were asking. I guess the undead army was like, "Come on, come on, release us of your commitment." <laughs> Gimli's like, "Nah, dude, don't do it. It's pretty handy." <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I mean, they've been doing pretty well without him throughout the story, so... Yeah, yeah. 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 it just popped in a few Just times. the way you put it. I've been bothering with you guys enough. Like, I'm late. <laughs> I gotta go. Double, you're in charge. <laughs> Thorin's like, but I'm the king under the mountains. I said Bilbo is in charge. He is the king under the hill. <laughs> Dang it, Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, take a screenshot of that and make that into my Steam profile picture. Oh, you should. <laughs> Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a ring, too? You can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he had it on the wizard staff this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Whoa, it looks like Bilbo's been putting on some weight during this journey. He's thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what's the bread that they get from the elves? The Lambus bread? Yeah, it was a bunch of Lambus bread. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of Lambus bread. Of course. <laughs> nom nom nom. It's available. You're only supposed to take pieces at a time. It's like, no, I'll have like three. <laughs> I was gonna say none of them have packs, so maybe they have to wrap their like uh, the like sleeping bag type thing. What, what are those called? Bed rolls. They have to just wrap the bed roll around them while they walk. <laughs> I don't recall if uh, Thorin gave Bilbo the mithril in this in this movie. I don't think so. Uh, that's a good question. I don't I don't know if that was part of the book. Because they mentioned Lord of the Rings, but well, in the extended edition of the the last Hobbit movie, uh, he does give Bilbo the mithril, but. There was a lot of shit from that movie that wasn't in the books. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That was kind of heartbreaking for a, ch a children's movie. <laughs> I was like, oh. I don't even know if I want to go home anymore. I like the butterflies. It's so beautiful. Bed roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has a beard. <laughs> Was it just me, or did it, it kind of look like Odie from Garfield? <laughs> well, a little bit. <laughs> I was thinking the coyote, like... <laughs> Wily <e>. coyote. Yeah. <laughs> Sting. Oh, he killed it. Yeah. I think it's because uh, he was part of the, uh, the police in the 80s. I thought it was going to be because of the Kama Sutra. <laughs> Don't stand so. <laughs> oh. Wow, those poor dwarves. <laughs> it's almost like the uh, Killer Clown movie. Like what? Uh, the the uh, the Killer Clown. Clothes from outer space, outer space yeah. the cotton candy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's almost like that. It made me think of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, I was just talking about uh, something else looking like it in uh, the video game we were playing. That's the Hobbit motto. It's time for action! <laughs> oh. <laughs> he kills him every time he sees it. I know, that's the funniest death animation I've ever seen. I guess that's like the, the spider's point of view. Uh, maybe. Uh, Except they can see themselves for some reason? Yeah, I, I don't know. They're like, we need to keep this rated G, come on. This isn't the age of He-Man yet, or G.I. Joe, we can't show people getting shot. Look at the way they serpentine. It's like, <laughs> Damn, Bilbo's a badass in this. <laughs> hey, just fucking go. Oh, but it pays out later, though. There is a payoff about that later. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I remember this part. 
Did it give you arachnophobia? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have thought spiders were extremely cute if I had seen this as a child. Because they just look like bunnies with, like, a uh, weird beard and extra legs. Oh, that's an elf? The wood elves. That's not even close to as sexy as I would hope. <laughs> They're just all pissed off. <laughs> all the time. So we have to live in Mirkwood, fuck this shit. I know, they are kind of in a poisoned wood. <laughs> Dang, lucky Bilbo, that would have crushed him like nothing. Look at his feet. Dude, these elves are freaky. They look like the leprechaun from Leprechaun. Yeah. That would have been pretty cool if Warwick Davis was playing uh, Thandruel in the, in the live action ones. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I'm the father of uh, Orlando Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, this is the part where Feely seduces one of the the wood elves. That god, jeez, those movies, man. It, it kind of sucks because those. When I saw those movies in the theater, I immediately didn't like the last one, but the other two, I was like, "All right, they're." They're not great, but at least I can live with these. But then the more I watch them, the more I'm like, these are horrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a good line. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good soundtrack. Yeah. And yeah, these are gorgeous paintings. Just the way Erebor looks is... Jeez. Man. Especially those clouds. Oh, it's like town. Yeah, they do avoid it. Huh? Oh, no, never mind. They, yeah, they do get them. Yeah, they don't avoid Lake Town completely. It's just they don't have, like, that political struggle, and uh, Bard doesn't smuggle them through the underbelly and stuff like that. Was that supposed to be snow, or was that, like, dust on the cells? That must have been dust. <laughs> nah. You know, it's kind of hard to believe that Thorin is that old and has never had kids. Yeah. You think he had something? Yeah, like even if, even if he wasn't royalty. You would think he would just be able to find a wife. He's not a huge asshole in this. And even so, like, you'd think he'd want to, uh... Oh. Well, I guess they talked to Bard, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what is up with his eye? Did you see that? Which one? Bard's eye. Oh, uh, I It was, see. like, popping out for a second. Oh, wow. Where's the political intrigue? They solved it, just then. <laughs> and of course there was that political intrigue stuff, but you know, we solved it. <laughs> Alright, back to the knock. 
Bilbo was asleep at that point, so we didn't get that part of the story. Oh, I thought he was going to be like, it's the corpses of all of the people he burned. <laughs> Wanks. You must find the katata fish. No. <laughs> this is so fast paced. They just went from Mirkwood to Erebor in like what ten minutes? <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, I like even the bird is looking at it like wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! It's like, oh right! <laughs> Automatic doors. <laughs> yeah, that's that's some good technology. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's just me or uh, have the characters gotten kind of sloppier as it's gone along. Like the lines aren't as defined. And, yeah, a little bit. And they're a little more static all the time. I think they're really trying to rush to get it done. <laughs> they're like, we're running out of money. Get it done, get it done. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon's been dead this whole time. Yay! I was having flashbacks from his abusive father. No. <laughs> no Represented father, by that thrush. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think he was beating the rock? Oh. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Every time he pecked down, Bilbo was like, ah, pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> Thrush is just hanging out. His inner monologue right here has been longer than the journey from Lake Town to Erebor. <laughs> oh, those are pretty nice colors. I like how it had a little camera zoom out and zoom in right there. And no! Oh. Oh, that's not at all what I thought the dragon was going to look like. How does the dragon have fur if it has, like, an internal flame? <laughs> they really should have gotten Tony the Tiger to be this voice. <laughs> Right now he kind of just sounds like a, uh, a bored, oh man, what's his name? The dude. Uh, oh, um, Jeff Bridges. Yeah, he sounds like a bored Jeff Bridges. Fun fact. 
Jeff Bridges did do a voice for The Lost Unicorn. And he did not change his accent for that. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, he did. Holy crap. I hope I hope he doesn't die before this pose. <laughs> we just have the mark of death for celebrities. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah. Is this all like Jeff Bridges? <laughs> Smog kind of looks like a weird cat. That's where they got the inspiration for Snarf. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the truth is, this is the child of the dragon and the cat from Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what they did in Florida? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, the Peter Jackson dragon at least looked a lot better than this. I have that title. The, uh, what was it? The something of eagles. The... Damn it. Guest of eagles? Yes, the guest of eagles. The guest of eagles. I guess I could just say that I am. Who's gonna dispute it? <laughs> nah. I like how Smog kind of went from zero to a hundred miles an hour, just like, who are you? Oh, I'm gonna go burn this town. <laughs> That was pretty cool. <laughs> that would be funny if Bilbo just gets like a plate or something, bam, right in the <laughs> face. No. <laughs> like, oh, that's where you are. <laughs> I think that means he's wearing a dragon cup. <laughs> it's just one big cut piece. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> yep, he's showing him. God. Huh. I'm gonna do that to Cindy later, just flop down naked. What do you think of this? She'll probably be like, not much. <laughs> uh oh. That kinda just looks like French toast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm missing a what now? Wow, Bilbo is such a cocky little shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, ah. 
<laughs> wow. Just had to say something, Bilbo. I'm only missing the seat of my pants. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bilbo needs a good spanking. No. subtitles on this would just be like unintelligible gurgle, gurgling indistinguishable growl <laughs> gurgles in Spanish <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows that the language of dragons is Spanish oh my god <laughs> it looked like they were just kind of like doing a South Park thing where he goes like do, 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 from side to side while running. No. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh oh, I was like, even Thresh was like, I'm staying in here with you guys. I don't take your orders. He's like, I don't know what you're saying, man. <laughs> I don't take your orders, man. It's like, come on, everything speaks common. Bard kind of looks like the concept art for that Kevin Costner uh, Robin Hood movie. <laughs> The haircuts. <laughs> Is Bard um, Aragorn's dad or no? no? No, he's just some rando. I mean, on the Peter Jackson one, he had some grand backstory with a fight. Uh, it was a convoluted mess in that one. But yeah, in the books, he's just some rando. <laughs> Unless there was something with the appendices, because, you know... Uh, Tolkien loved his appendices. I think he had some relation to royalty, supposedly, but I don't know. Might have been a little overplayed in the, in the Hobbit films. <laughs> I can just imagine the guy in the recording booth just like, hmm, yes, yes, ah. Oh. It's more like a spear oh. I mean, for like that bow. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, it's really sad to say this because the smog attacking Lake Town is like the very first thing that happens in the Battle of the Five Armies movie but when Bard uses his son as part of like a makeshift uh, ballista thing mm -hmm. that's when I was like oh this is gonna be bad mm -hmm. and I kind of checked out in the first five minutes of that movie <laughs> Dang. Thorne got a nice braid job. <laughs> oh, what the? 
<laughs> ah, he's gonna be feasting on lake men for a week. Let's loot this place and get out. <laughs> <laughs> Very leader, leader like. Oh yeah. <laughs> How did you get in here? Like a Thorin's like you did what? <laughs> what a dick. It's it's so hard to take these guys seriously. Mm. <laughs> like at least at least in the movies uh, Thandral was played by Lee Pace, and he has like the best eyebrows in the business, mm. other than Eugene Levy. So, you know, <laughs> that, that kind of gave him some uh, power, you know. So that's three armies. What are the other two? Wow, I can't believe they spent time animating characters like that and they used it like as a semi-transparent layer. I guess he gave it to him. <laughs> That's probably what I would say too. I was in a war. Like, whose dick do I have to suck to get out of this? <laughs> I like how they actually have, like, ear coverings on their helmet. Mm -hmm. They actually look like functional. Yeah. Like they have mesh or screen or something. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, oh. I misheard that. I thought he said, no, no, no. And I was like, what uh. the hell is that? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's one of their songs that starts off. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> what right. say? <laughs> the thieving dwarves. <laughs> Does Gandalf count as a, an army all by himself? Oh. I think so.
what claim do they have? Mm -hmm. And like, we claim that it's ours, duh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Even Bilbo. <laughs> Even Bilbo. Bilbo's like, bye, I got the ring. It's like, what the yeah. hell? Like, I'm out of here. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> wow. Ant. He just backs out, doesn't get knocked out. Yeah, for some reason I remembered him getting knocked out right in the beginning. Now, that's the lesson to teach a kid. Mm, okay, there you go. Five armies. No. Oh. What? The worst allies. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, wait, how late are we? <laughs> well, what the hell is Bilbo going to do? <laughs> He's going to chill. Like, enough is enough. I'm putting this ring on and uh, getting the hell out of here. <laughs> like how they just added some dots on top of the cloud. But it's funny how, like, there's dots falling. So <laughs> you can imagine it's just the eagles picking up people. I know, it's just splattering on the ground. Can you imagine how bad that battlefield must smell after that? Oh my god. Horrendous. <laughs> like, uh, I wasn't up here sleeping this whole time. <laughs> Seven. Holy crap. Wow. So the Peter Jackson one had a happier ending than this? It killed the white orc. <laughs> God, that, that orc was so bad looking too. You know, I don't know if I could actually show this to a kid and have them appreciate it, but I think this is a lot better than the uh, live action trilogy. Oh yeah. Although I'm kind of disappointed that the, uh, uh, oh crap, what, what's his name? Uh, Leonard Nimoy Bilbo song hasn't come up yet. <laughs> Wait, come again? You've never heard that? No. Oh. Yeah, Leonard Nimoy did a song about Bilbo Baggins. Where it's all, Bilbo, <laughs> Bilbo. Please tell me it's disco. Uh, I don't think it's disco. Oh, should be. Maybe we could watch the video after, Aww. and people can search for it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to play it on Aww. my phone or something, though. He's not dead yet. Why are you coming? Leonard, <laughs> Bilbo Baggins. That's the very first thing that pops up. Uh, the Ballad of Bilbo Baggins. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I won't have sex with it ever. <laughs> you know, they live in peace for what, like a hundred years or something like that? Because, well, like, regular. Really? Yes. Yeah. Isn't Frodo like a hundred years old or something? 
Uh, I don't know. Well, I thought Bilbo was like 111, right? Mm. In the film. Yeah, I get, well, wait. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know, I remember, because I've only read like the beginning of The Fellowship of the Ring, because uh, I find those books extremely boring, but uh, it takes Frodo years to actually leave Hobbiton. Oh. Yeah, they're way, way older in the books. Oh, wow, he actually has a display case. <laughs> no, nice. It's so much easier for the ring wraiths to find. <laughs> All right. For the 1977 Hobbit. Thanks for joining us. You guys want to say bye? See you all. Bye. bye. <laughs>